In order to better understand this matter, let's take a look at the example of a head chef in a restaurant, the Shé Tseaku. He turns groceries that he receives from suppliers into meals, which he then sells to his guests. In order to ensure that nothing goes wrong in the process, the meals are tasty and the guests are always satisfied, the head chef every day conducts quality assurance and quality management. Our head chef is on his way home from a visit to a good old friend Claude in southern France. The Provence in summer, the lavender fields, the small alleyways in Marseille. What a dream. And Claude's tasty fish soup. Absolutely excellent. Fortunately, Claude had given him the recipe. That would be the right thing for the menu next week, the head chef thinks to himself on the flight back home and begins to ponder how to best make the soup. As in all things in life, the head chef first needs a thorough, well thought through plan. The overall timing, the most efficient procedures and the best resources. In short, who should do what when. Uh, oui, oui, that is just the way I'll do it, the head chef thinks to himself. Mais, uh, but uh, seven different uh, types of fish, uh, eight uh, different uh, spices, uh, uh, mon dieu, uh, lot can go wrong there. He starts to weigh up what could go wrong and how serious the consequences would be. Uh, not enough salt, uh, no problem, pas de problem, I can add some more later. But uh, no, spoiled fish and uh, guests with uh, food poisoning, no, that must not happen. Through experience, a head chef knows that it is best to inspect the quality of goods as soon as they are delivered. This ensures that he can quickly identify possible faults. We, uh, the earlier I detect something, the faster I can react. The plane has landed and a head chef has arrived at his home. He begins to think to himself, if I really thought of everything and will things work in their kitchens where I envisage it? A head chef therefore decides to test his new dish under realistic conditions and present his findings to the manager. After he has presented his findings to the manager and received the go-ahead for his new dish, a head chef starts to brief the kitchen staff. Uh, la lot, uh, the monk fish is a rather special fish. Uh, I want you to know that I only want the tail meat of the monk fish in my soup. He creates an instruction for each of the fish, how each fish is to be prepared and what individual characteristics must be considered. We, uh, okay, this is your uh, homework, he says and hands out the instructions to the kitchen staff. While our head chef is handing out the instructions, he pauses to think about his fishmonger. He has never really had any problems with the fishmonger's deliveries, but in the past all he had ordered were frozen fish fingers. His new dish, however, requires seven all new types of fish which, on top of that, are delivered in shape of the whole unprocessed fish. From experience he knows what to look out for when checking the quality and freshness of the fish. They must smell of the sea, the eyes must be clear, the gills must be red and the scales must be firmly attached to the fish. These are the four primary criteria that he wants to check as soon as the delivery arrives. Uh, our uh, cold storage uh, must always uh, function correctly. Uh, considering the prices we will be paying for the fish, uh, we cannot afford any malfunctions. Best we create a fixed maintenance plan. The day has arrived and the menu now right at the top features bouillabaisse massayes prepared with seven types of fish. Early in the morning the fishmonger delivers the fish, the freshness criteria are inspected immediately and the fish is then placed into the perfectly functioning plus two degrees Celsius cold storage. It's now lunchtime and the first orders for bouillabaisse massayes are coming in. But what's that? Some of the meals are being returned by the waiting staff. One guest complains that the soup is too salty and another one complains it is not salty enough. What might be the cause of this? The food taster checks every meal before it leaves the kitchen. What's wrong with them? An allergy or a cold? Or has he secretly started smoking again? Now, that must be clarified. After brief inspection, it turned out that the food taster was indeed secretly smoking at the back of the restaurant and that the new salt shakers that had been ordered were not dispensing salt evenly at all. The head chef now takes all the feedback and complaints and uses it to design additional inspection plans. It can now monitor the new processes and quickly react to all changes in the workflow. 
This efficient quality assurance cycle helps improve the restaurant and make it and the Bouillabaisse popular way beyond the limits of the city, all the way to the office of the famous The Taste of Quality magazine. Ah, and presto, one of the magazine's restaurant reviewers turns up at the Shade Seyaku. They always look very closely at the quality and uh, like it if one can uh, provide uh, complete documentation of uh, everything. Of course the head chef can provide comprehensive documentation that proves all his processes and inspection plans work faultlessly, but an additional check of everything would probably be advisable nonetheless. Reminding all the staff of their jobs and duties is also very important at this point. I really don't want anything to go wrong here. The restaurant reviewer has a good look around the restaurant and quickly notices that all processes are tightly structured down to the smallest detail and nothing's left to chance. Within the blink of an eye, the restaurant can react to different recipes, new kitchen equipment or changed suppliers. In light of all this, the fact that the famous Chez Tseaku Bouillabaisse Marseillaise tastes excellent is not at all surprising. With a big smile on his face, the reviewer awards the prestigious star of the famous The Taste of Quality magazine and says that he has never seen such a perfectly functioning restaurant. I am sure the manager of the restaurant will love to hear about this as soon as possible, the head chef thinks to himself. I think I'll attach a photo of the star to this week's report along with all the other important information of the day. While a head chef is enjoying his well-earned after-work relaxation, he lets the events of the day pass by and thinks about how tremendously important efficient quality assurance is for the success of the restaurant. The planning of processes, the inspection of incoming goods, the training of the staff, the maintenance of equipment. Without all these measures, the Shed Siaku would definitely not have received its star. We at Siakuagi Factory Systems know that regardless of what area a company may operate in, whether small business or major global corporation, consistently maintaining a high degree of quality is always of paramount importance. Siakuagi Factory Systems, your partner in the hunt for your star of quality.